today we'll make a visit to Columbia University in New York. There we find the new project recently completed by Rafael Moneo, architect from Madrid in Spain. It's a research lab for Columbia University in the northwest corner of the campus. The campus, as you can see from this very neoclassical architecture designed in the end of 19th century by McKim, Mead and White, is entirely built out of bricks and stones. In this historical context, the architect had the challenge to reinvent and design something completely new, connecting to the existing history and past of the university, but at the same time showing a new beginning, something new for the 21st century of uh, this uh, incredible academic institution. The project is designed with, is built with a glass and aluminum facade, as we can see here, and steel structure. The architect had the big challenge of uh, having to build this tall building on the top of the existing gym, basketball courts, and swimming pool of Columbia University. Therefore, as we can see in this uh, facade, the entire building had to be hanging above ground with this huge uh, truss uh, in the space. Uh, he respected the existing master plan and uh, therefore designed the building with the width and the height that was indicated by the uh, architects McKimit and White. The facade reminds us very much of, let's say, uh, the Seagram building in New York by Miss van der Roy or the Lever House by uh, SOM right in front of it on Park Avenue. It's uh, completely glazed with a curtain wall on the side of the campus and whoever is inside has direct visual connection to the exterior as well as people who are in the plaza in front of it can see in the interior. The structure is only in the perimeter walls so we have these wide open spaces in the interior for the labs and incredible views all around it 360 degrees to the city and the Hudson River. We see here the auditorium on the third floor of the building right above the cafeteria. The facade um, uses the structure as a design element so we see the diagonals of the structure pronounced behind the glass facade and also in these diagonals on the right side where uh, we see uh, an indication of how the structure works and in a way shows us this very heroic gesture that the building does to carry this huge weight of the upper floors. Because of this large structure, um, um, the building is able to hoover above the gym and the pool as we can see in these sections. Some of the floors have double height spaces, some of them have single height. This uh, differences in, in heights is something that we can hardly see in the facade because of the modules which are in fact double floors and th therefore have this very ambiguous relationship of scale. The building is actually bigger than what it appears from the outside and from uh, far away when we approach it. We have a play of scales, both in the central glass facade, in the part covered with aluminum and bristle, and in the corner, which you see here in the north side of the building. The building connects delicately with these cantilevered bridges to uh, the buildings next to it, and uh, in a way positions itself on the campus effortlessly and very sensitive to whatever the historical heritage of Colombia is. We see these huge trusses on the second floor, which goes from side to side and occupies two floors, which allows uh, the architect to open completely the ground floor uh, right here behind the glass facade. This is where the uh, library is. Uh, you can see it here in the plan and it, the library has two floors, the ground floor and the mezzanine floor. It connects very direct relationship to the public space and in a way invites us to go inside, to sit there, to study, do some 
work with uh, everyone else. That is also where the entrance to the lower floor uh, is. The building is in a very strategic position for the campus because this is where the connection to the new campus in Manhattanville is supposed to be. Columbia is building uh, this new campus. The master plan was designed by Renzo Piano and this new building by Moneo is going to be the connection and main entrance to the old campus. We see uh, the doors here and the entrances which already have a lot of traffic. We can only imagine what it would be when the new build when the new campus is uh, completed. The building in a way uh, positions itself very delicately on, on the side. We see this big wide open uh, window to the north side and we see the columnless space of the library right here. The mezzanine level of this on the second floor of the library where the research uh, do their work. Here is a view of the library. The plaza of the main campus is connected to the lower floor with this escalator, which uh, delicately leads us down to the cafeteria, which is uh, the main public space in the building. The weather in New York um, is not always uh, as generous as in the summer, so a lot of times you have to be in the inside. And here's where we have the cafeteria and lobby of, um, of this building. In a way, this main public space is positioned in between the campus level and in between the entrance on Broadway and 120th Street. We see how the architect uh, captured the light from the north and, and from the west from the, the, with this window and, and leads it to the interior where we have this very bright, generous space for rest and for work. Um, the building um, uses marble stone uh, for this, uh, these public spaces, the ground floor, and also the spaces below ground. The staircase leads us to the lower floor where we find uh, the entrance to the gym and the other entrance, the public entrance to the campus on the north side. And this is the entrance to the gym right on the level of Broadway and 120th Street. And, and the gym, as we said, is the reason why the building is hovering above ground. The facade on the um, west side is completely different. It has a lot of brisole that protects from the sun and the afternoon sun in uh, New York. It also captures our attention and and our gaze and and contains it letting us reflect and think about what is happening right there behind the building the architect was very successful with integrating this new building with the old campus this is one of his big skills positioning new buildings in next to old ones without breaking up with the history without breaking up with with the past of the institution. So in a way here we look in the 21st century, respecting what is there already and connecting to the future of Columbia University.